Hello. Today, I'm going to be showing you how I started off doing my water droplets. So if you're interested in how to get a better water droplet, stay tuned. Good day, my friends. Welcome back. I'm Leo, if you haven't seen me before. Today, what I'm going to actually do, and he's showing you how I started off doing my water droplets and the way, the best way to start practicing. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to start off with showing you how to put on a piece of grass using a syringe. Then I'm going to move on and show you how to put on some cotton like this. So to learn you how to balance your water droplets a lot better. And then I'm going to finally end up with the dandelion. So what am I going to be using today? All I'm going to be using today, because I'm not going to be taking many pictures, I'm going to be using a fine pump spray. This is actually a Jack Wilson's English Velvet Body Spray, Women's Body Spray. All I've done is clean this all out and it gives you a nice fine spray and that's what I need, a nice fine spray. If you're having trouble managing to gain your water drops, there's no reason why you can't use Glycerin. Glycerin is a fantastic way to start off. And at the end of the day, to get a, get a water drop on something that's tiny is very, very hard and it takes a lot, a lot of practice. It takes something that you can just come overnight and think, I'm going to drop a water droplet on here and it's going to work. It doesn't work like that. I've tried it and tried it and tried it. And like I say, practice, practice, practice. And I finally managed to get it. So I'm going to share today three ways of how to do it. So I'm going to start off with grass, cotton, and then go on to a dandelion. So first of all, I'm going to set the grass up and show you how to that one. So, okay, I've got just a memo clip holder here. This is just to hold the grass. So what I'm going to do is, you don't matter which way you put the grass, you can get your, your water droplets stay on. But all I'm going to do with this one is I'm just going to fold it over and make a loop. It's just something that it's easy to do and, you know, it, like I say, I'm, we're practicing today how to get the water droplet to stay on. So I've got the loop and all I'm going to do is I'm going to pour a little bit of blue tack around. Now, you can use string tubes on there. Stuart Wood's got a video of how to put string tubes on here and it absolutely works a treat. So take a look. So I've got that on there now. All I'm going to do is position it so it's sort of flat. Just simple like that. Now, the best, I, the best way I find to do water droplets is actually to build the water drop up. Not just go and try and get it on. Because if I try and put a big drop on here straight away, it's just going to roll off. See? So what I tend to do now is I get it and just get each drop I can find like that. And then what I do is I add a bit more and I'm constantly building up the drop until I get what I want. This is the easiest way to build it up. It's like I say, you know, all you've got to do is just gently build the droplets up as you go along. Because I've got shaky hands, I'm going to admit. But by just gently touching it, it soon sort of builds up. Then as you got there now, oh, let's find something. We can, we can add a, well, it's, it's just a normal background, we can add a background to that now. And, you know, You've got a picture straight away. So that's my first trick on practicing. Practice on grass. It's thicker, you know, it's got the fine hairs and it don't come off as easy. Let's go on to something a bit more difficult now. We're gonna try some cotton. So this has got to be one of my favorite techniques to try out. And it's just cotton. All I've got, two memo clip holders and some cotton. This is just normal sewing cotton, everyday sewing cotton. Now what I'm gonna do here is the same sort of thing, but there's one thing I'm going to do first. I'm going to spray some water on it first. Just a little bit, not a lot. And this is going to help the water droplets to stay on here. Now, like I said before, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build them dead slow. So I'm going to put one tiny one on. And I'm just going to keep going along. Not big ones, just tiny ones. Like that. Now, people think you've got to go big straight away. You haven't. The bigger your water droplets, the more it's going to distort because gravity takes its toll, like I've said before. 
it just comes down. So what you want to do is put the smallest one on and then build it up. And eventually, the more times you do it, you realize when the water's gonna drop off or maybe it's gonna hold. So what I'm gonna do again then, see that one dropped off, put too much straight away. Now I'm just gonna add, again, slowly, tiny little bits until I build up the perfect circle to what I want. This is a lot easier way. Because like I said, you put something on too big straight away, it drops off. Don't matter what you do. But if I put a tiny bit on, and then add another tiny bit, I've got more chance of staying on. See? You learn when the drop zone is, like I said, then you just add tiny bits to them. And eventually, you're going to get your bigger drops. So this is the best way, and like I said again, let's find the background. Uh, yep, let's try this one. Mm. We can just add our background with the light, and you're gonna get a picture, same again. Without even worrying about it. This one of these have actually got me into the British Folk Free Awards, you know, featured, so I know how good that can be. But like I say, first of all, Spray it, spray it first, then gently add one drop, two drop, three drop, but don't try and add a big drop straight away. Because if you add a big drop straight away, it drops off. So just add tiny bits at a time, and they'll hold. So that's cotton. Nice, easy, simple way to try, but I guarantee you, you get good, good results. So, okay, we're on to everybody's favourite now. The one that you're all probably waiting for, and this is the dandelion. Dandelions are my favourite way, but like I said, it's taken me years and well to get to a decent picture. It depends what you want on your dandelion. Depends how you get it. Now, for me, really, I like to say I use a lot of milky water, put a picture on, but this is how I started to learn how to put a water drop on. And this is just, I put it on some blue tack or modeling clay. Put it on my specimen holder, memo clip holder from Amazon UK. Not sponsored by them, but I thought I'd better tell everybody. And there, there we go. Now listen, this is this is the probably the most difficult part, one of the most difficult parts. When you put your dandelion into it, you need to get it so the head is as flat as possible. So mix the dish. If it doesn't make a dish, as soon as you put it in, put a water drop on, it's gonna roll out. So what you need to do is make sure that it's as flat as possible. This is the same thing now. All we're gonna do yet again is a tiny spit, tiny, tiny bit of water. And we're just gonna to touch it until we get a tiny drop on. Now this can take it a bit, don't be, you know what I mean? Cause I know, there you go. It can take time, but it's patience. I can't do it all the time, first time, so, and I've been doing it years, so. <laughs> but if you put a big bit on straight away, you're gonna, it's gonna drop off. So what I'll do yet again is I'm gonna build it up and just by the tiniest bit coming out, by itself actually, not pushing it, it's just the force that's just naturally coming out on the thing, eh? on the um, syringe, I'm just gonna keep adding. And you learn enough's enough. Now I know if I put one more drop on this, it's gonna drop off. Guarantee you. There you go. So it's all trial and error. Just keep adding. That's it. No more. I can see it's going to start to roll off. So it's time to finish. Can't do no more on that one. I'll put a background on it. And then, I don't know if you can see it. We've got a, you've got a picture coming. So it's straight away. I should say... I would say if I do 10 pictures like this, I might only get two good ones because the rest will either collapse or fall apart. Now, there is another way what you can do with this. And it's probably one of my favourite ones. And this is where I just spray to water. And all I do is keep spraying. And I don't stop spraying until I can see the big balls on it. Now, you can't over spray this. So people make a mistake when they don't spray enough. 
and as you can see you get a nice well I can see it you get a nice water drop in the middle and then you get all the separate bubbles on and like I say then all we've got to do again background and you've got your picture once again this is probably the easiest way to do it and this is where I started when I couldn't get my water droplets to stay on my to stay on my dandelion clock that I started doing this because I thought to myself I've got to get away of getting one on there and I can't do it so I don't know where now what you've got to do like I said before in more previous videos is start far away and then work like so you the spray comes out but it's fine spray and it naturally builds up and that is the best way to keep your water droplets on to your clock your dandelion so there you go i hope that's been helpful it's so like i say practice will make perfect don't think and don't get disappointed if you can't get that water drop to stay on it's practice you will do it i haven't got the steadiest stands trust me i shake a lot so i know how hard it can be i really do it's just like i say get yourself a nice syringe the finer the better diabetic syringe you can buy them off amazon and just practice just remember you haven't got to squirt it on all you got to do is just let virtually the water come out on its own and build the drops up until you get what you want and don't forget the bigger the drop the fatter and, and, and fatter and it ain't gonna look right the smaller the drop the perfectly round it'll be because gravity doesn't take toll so i oh, like i say i hope you've enjoyed that thank you all for watching if you got to the end of this i'm lee all and once again where am i going to say stay safe and happy snapping